This video introduces the new undefined property value into ARCHICAD properties to IFC. As custom property, besides the existing defined value, the new undefined value can be set as custom property, as well as the new expression defined value introduced in ARCHICAD 22. Let's see first what changes have occurred in the property manager. Open the property manager from the option menu. The previous property definition page has been renamed to value definition. The list of available data types has been extended with new types such as string, length, area, volume, angle. Under the default value field, we can find three options. The new undefined, the already existing value, and the new expression. Note. Please watch the ARCHICAD 22 expression videos to learn more about expression-defined value. Properties have data type even if their starting values are undefined. Let's see the changes of the tool settings now. Open for example the Wall Selection Settings dialog. Switch to the Classification and Properties tab page. The values of the non-defined properties are displayed undefined, regardless of whether they are default or custom values. In the pop-up on the left side of the properties, along with the default and custom values, a new option was added. If defined value or expression value are set to property, you can choose the set as undefined. If undefined value is set, the set as custom option appears. We can edit the text field on the right side only when the custom option is selected in the pop-up. We can see the data types of the default and actual custom values in brackets in the pop-up. The info box works similarly to the tool settings. Let's see it in an example. Place an auto text label on a wall with the fire resistance rating property. Undefined is set by default. Select the wall and, using the info box, set the fire resistance rating property to custom value and then choose other ratings from the pop-up on the right. Restore the pop-up to undefined value, and let's see an example for the changes of the interactive schedule. Open the Document, Schedules, Scheme Settings dialog. Create a new schedule scheme. Let's add a new criteria below the element type. For this, choose the fire resistance rating property. If we give a property type criteria, by clicking the pop-up, the new is undefined and the is not undefined operators appear along with the previous ones. So, we can sort and give the criteria based on undefined property. Delete this criteria and add the fire resistance rating and the stored energy property to the fields. Open this scheme in the navigator. Undefined is in both fields. At the fire resistance rating, by clicking on the value, we can select the custom values from the pop-up. At the stored energy, we can enter a custom value. Note, in interactive schedule, when custom value is set, we cannot restore undefined, expression, or value type default values. Finally, let's see how the multi-property value export and import works. During multi-property values export and import, it is important to inform the consultants about which properties have no values yet and have to be filled in by them. For this, the undefined property is the clearest value. Activate the file, interoperability, classifications and properties, export property values from schedules menu command. Select the previously created scheme from the pop-up and check the Open the File After Save checkbox. Click Save to save it to the hard drive. We set the saved properties to undefined before exporting. 
The Excel file opens and you can see the undefined values with left arrow, question mark, right arrow signs in the table. When exporting, the expected data type appears as well after the property name in the property headers. If you enter a value of the appropriate data type into this field, the element will get this custom value. If you leave the undefined field unchanged, this property value will be omitted at import. Enter, for example, 2 hours for fire resistance rating and 150 to stored energy, then save the file. Activate the file, Interoperability, Classifications and Properties, Import Property Values into Elements command. Select the modified Excel file and click Open. The Import Property Values dialog opens. Here you can follow and accept the property value changes, then click the Import. As you can see, the affected properties update according to the changed external Excel sheet. The undefined property value allows more sophisticated data exchange. In IFC Import, the element properties that cannot be identified by classifications come undefined into ARCHICAD. In IFC Export, the non-defined properties are transferred undefined, so they do not cause data loss. 